Well, hi folks. The old potatoes have arrived today. Big new selection of potatoes that I ordered back in, well, back last year because I knew there was going to be a bit of a shortage of them. So they've turned up and I'm just going to start chitting them now. So I'll just try and explain what chitting means and what the process of it is and what the purpose of it is. So I'll just get a few out and see what we've got. Right, these are the first ones. These are, be, these are the rocket, which are really, really early potatoes. And the idea about chitting them is, chitting just means you're going to sprout them. But uh, what you don't want is big, long sprouts. Because if I were just to leave this bag under the counter or something, or in a drawer, in a, in a cupboard, until I got to, until I got to uh, plant them out in April time, they would just start growing great big shoots, because they'll, they'll be breaking dormancy now, now that they've been delivered to me, because they've been kept in a cold store at the place where they've been growing the seed potatoes. So what you don't want to do is just leave them in the bag and forget about them because then once you open the bag there will be a big massive long rubbish shoots that are absolutely no use to anybody. So basically chitting is, if you look at a potato, that's what you want to look for is the rose end, the end with the most eyes, right? And that's what you're going to place upwards in some kind of container. Egg boxes are great, like egg trays, seed module trays, anything like that, just to sort of stand them up in. So basically all you do is look for the potato, look for the end with the sprouts. It's generally the opposite, the, the end where it was attached to the plant. There's a little scar at one end and usually the rose end is at the other end. It's a bit dim in here so you might not be able to see. So basically it's as simple as placing, finding the end with the most eyes and placing those upright. And then what you do is you place these somewhere as cool as possible, but frost free and as bright as possible. Because you don't want them to get too warm because then they'll, just, they'll send out really long shoots and you don't want it to be dull or dark because then they'll just go searching for the light. So somewhere as, as bright and as cool as possible, like a porch or a cool greenhouse, if you can keep the frost off them, is ideal. So like I say, it's as simple as that. Now, and basically, don't forget to write down, write down the variety on Because if you get them all out, you won't, you'll forget what's what. So. So that's just a few rocket I bought. They're going to go in really early in the polythene wind some containers. To try and get them really good crop of early, super early ones. Just got a few more new potatoes. Charlotte, these are. These are a cracking uh, salad potato, really waxy and yellow fleshed. Fantastic boiled new potato. Condor, now these are actually just a, a daft potato I've, I've bought just to grow. These are the ones that grew to. Ten, somebody grew one to ten pound about three years ago. Peter Glaze, but the famous giant vegetable grower. So I'm just growing a few of these just for a laugh, just to see if I can get a monstrous potato. It's exactly the same thing with all the spuds, chicken, like that. Same with the Golden Wonder main crop, rival to sort of King Edward, best chipper and roaster ever. Likewise, it's a simple, simple technique. Just get into your bag. Fill the end with the most eyes and plop that upright like that. Could be easier. And like I say, well, apart from sort of preserving your crop, because if you did, you left them, it'd they just sprout willy nilly and be all over the place and be no use. It does get them off to a bit of a flying start as well because they do grow a little. What you want is ideally is about it's a dark green shoot, maximum about half an inch to an inch long, and then when you plant those out, on all risk of frost pass. They were ready to sprout away in root because they've broken the dormancy and they should fly away. So basically that's about it folks. Chitting with potatoes. Couldn't be easier but it's really worthwhile to do otherwise you'll be in trouble if you leave them in the bag and forget about them. That's about it folks. See you later.